This is an AZ225 solar tracker. Currently set up, it's got nine panels on it. Just did some repairs and updates. Troubleshooting some issues still. We replaced the uh, solar tracker controller with this new unit here, which is a big improvement from the, uh, from the last unit. Also had to replace the sensor up top, which you can't see it right now, but it's up there facing the sun. Had to work through some issues on that. And, and now we're trying to figure out what was going on with the limit switches as the uh, tracker stows. Once the sun goes down, it turns back to the east, but it was crashing into the hard stop, which is that piece right there. You can maybe see that it's bent it was crashing and uh, luckily it didn't burn out the motor, but turns out one of the limit switches went bad. So you might be able to see right there, one of the limit switches, uh, it's, it's this one right here. You can see this cam right here with that lobe. And there's actually a spot right below it for another limit switch. And that's the one that was bad and I pulled it off and. I'm going to be replacing that tomorrow. I was able to find the parts locally, if you can believe that. You can see I have a jumper on here right now, which allows the motor to still run. And the uh, the tracker is just coming up on the limit for the west westerly direction, and uh, it might you can see right there. It's about to engage that limit switch. So, uh, so for some reason the Easterly direction limit switch burned out, burned out the diode, and uh, I, I don't know exactly why what happened there. But anyways, I'll be replacing that, and I'll recalibrate the limit stops or the, uh, the positions for east and west. And hopefully, this thing will be back to a worry-free setup. It's all kind of new to me, just learning as I go. But with uh, basic knowledge of electronics and mechanics, it's pretty easy to work on this stuff. So thanks for watching.